since you're watching this video, there's probably like a 97% chance you know what that's about. So let's go check it out. This should be interesting. So this here is the ASCII keyboard controller for the Nintendo GameCube. My Japanese is a little rusty, but I can see that this is ASCII keyboard controller. And before we open this up, let's take a quick look at the box. We can see the Fantasy Star Online logo down there, the uh, model number up there, just some more um, product information, pretty plain there. On the back, we've got just some diagrams of the controller itself from the top, the front, and the side. A bunch of Japanese that I cannot read. We can see that it's made in Malaysia, but otherwise it's pretty basic. Let's go ahead and open this box up. Looks like just the instruction manual here. Empty on the inside, more Japanese. Probably a product registration card here with a note section. And interestingly, the <laughs> eBay seller did not put this actually in the plastic bag for shipping, but oh well, I'm sure it's fine. And here's the controller itself. It's kind of got an off-white sort of eggshell color on the front. Uh, the stick itself is a little loose, but not too bad. I've certainly felt worse on lots of other GameCube controllers. Interestingly, you'll note that the start slash pause button, instead of being in the middle of the controller, which is kind of impossible on this particular model, is over here off to the left. Otherwise, you've got your standard Y, X, A, B, and C stick over here on the side. On the top, you've got your L and R buttons and your Z button there. On the back, just has the name of the controller there with the GameCube logo. Product number, made in Malaysia again, ASCII Corporation. Pretty basic stuff and it's got the kind of standard GameCube indigo color on the back. As some of you may recall, I enjoy collecting just about everything GameCube, including controller variants. And this was one I obviously didn't have, so I finally decided to grab one. This particular controller is interesting because it was released in Japan on September 12th, 2002, and it was released specifically just for one game, Fantasy Star Online, Episodes 1 and 2. And that game came out on October 29th of 2002. So there were a number of players who would import this controller from Japan in order to use it with the Fantasy Star Online game, which I personally and admittedly have not played. Back then, this controller was literally the only way to use the keyboard functionality with that particular game on the GameCube. And that was the case until the company Sammy released their own version of this controller in 2003, which coincidentally arrived alongside Fantasy Star Online Episode 3, Card Revolution, which I also have not played. As you can see here, the controller has Japanese hiragana characters, as well as Latin letters for its alphanumeric QWERTY layout. As you can see here, it has two cables instead of one running out of the back there. And that's so you can use both the controller and the keyboard functionality, from what I understand. I don't yet have a copy of Fantasy Star Online to personally show you the typing functionality of this weirdo, but let's go plug it into the GameCube anyway.
As you can see, the awesome thing about this controller is it actually works with other GameCube games. To be fair, I don't know how frequently you'd really want to be using something this wide, but it actually feels pretty comfortable to use. It's not very heavy. Nevertheless, this is such a niche kind of GameCube item and it's not super practical to be using all the time. But as a collector of GameCube stuff, I'm really happy to have this in my collection and to be able to use it for other games. If you haven't seen my GameCube controller collection video, you can click up here to check it out. Guys, I wanna thank you for checking out this video today and thank you for subscribing. Like this video if you liked it, give it a thumbs down if you didn't, and be sure to check out this playlist with a bunch of other GameCube videos. Thanks for hanging out at CrossChop today and as always, play heavy.